Okay, well, I'm going to start out and kind of explain to you a concept that came to me a few years ago that helped me transform into the teacher that I always wanted to be and really helped my students transform into the students that I always hoped that they could be. So here's a picture of my family, and if someone were to ask me, well, which one is your favorite kid? Like, you know, it depends on the day, right? Like, I wouldn't, well, maybe I would be able to answer that some days. But overall, the correct answer to the question is of who is your favorite kid is really, well, all of them are. And I wanted to take that goal as a teacher into my classroom and make every student my favorite student. And so at the start of the year, I set up all these different steps to help me with that. And the first step was to learn everybody's name the first day of school. Now, as a secondary ed teacher, I had over 180 students. And there was a lot of names to memorize that first day. But I did it. And imagine how each kid felt when they went home and knew that their teacher spent the time to know who they were that first day of class. After that, I knew that I needed to create an atmosphere where every student felt welcome and safe. And uh, the way that I did that was I made sure that I spent the time and got to know my students. No one is ever going to care how much they know until they know how much you care. So what I did with that is I would stand at the door every class period and greet all of my students. This gave me a way to help assess them as they came in. If they were having a bad day, I was going to be able to know that. If they were having a good day, we'd just carry that on. But I wanted to greet all my kids at the door. And, and while that took away from other things that I was able to do, it all became worth it in the end. During class, instead of grading papers and doing other things that I could, I made sure that I was out and about around my students. I spent as much time as I could talking to them. If they had a book on their desk that they were reading, I'd ask and inquire about it. If they were on the basketball team, I'd ask them how things were going. But I wanted to get to know them on a more personal level than just the academics that we usually talk about in class. That's tough because some days it's hard to bring it as a teacher. We have our bad days. Things don't always go the way that we want them to. And so it's hard to always be out and amongst our students, but I will tell you, it's totally worth it. After that, I wanted to make sure that I met with each student that I had at least once per midterm. So that meant a total of eight times throughout the year. I spent time, asked them how they were doing in, in not only my class, but all of their classes to make sure that they knew that I was there supporting them. Students need somebody who is on their side, who's going to be there with them and help them deal with the challenges that they go through. I also sent home an email every week. Now, I didn't send one to every student. I would pick like four to five students from each class period and send an email home. The tougher kids especially needed this as early as possible. I knew that they needed to hear from me, that I valued them in class, and that I was paying attention to them. I would go to as many academic, uh, sporting, or other school events like the play as possible, even if only for a couple minutes, just to, so that kids would know that I was there supporting them. With our struggling students, I had to come up with my own plan for that. I met with them as often as possible, whether it was at lunch or before or after school, to try to catch them being good and give them opportunities to succeed. I would put them in leadership positions in the class and build them up so that they felt successful in my class. But most importantly, I didn't give up on them. And some of these students, they take a lot longer to develop, and they're harder. They've had people give up on them their whole lives. And so it became real important for me to always encourage them along the way. And some of our students do go at a snail's pace, but it's important that we encourage them along the way, no matter how slow their progress is. Every one of our students deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists that they become the best that they can possibly be. The last thing that I did was set this was we would discuss goals, we would do this on a monthly, weekly, daily basis and talk about how they could best improve themselves. I want you to consider the possibilities 
if every student in your class really believed that they were your favorite student and what that would do to you and the teacher that you could become because of that. Thank you very much.